I came to be acquainted with the Turtles on an audition call from Fred Wolf, who produced it. Somebody had fallen out of doing a couple spots or a couple characters, and I was called in to audition for him. And I got the uh, description that said, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I went, oh, this will never go anywhere with a stupid title. I had two minutes to do this character they wanted. One of the characters they wanted was Krang, which was, it was listed as an evil, bodiless blurb of a man, a chortling, uh, villainous character, but funny. So I went, okay. Uh, uh, he's crafty. Okay, well, I'll give him a high pitch range. I'll give him the pitch so he can go really high and be low and kind of crafty. And then it was, uh, then it was a pitch characteristic. Well, I'll give him the hot day kind of sound of the back of my throat because he's a little blob. And then I went, oh, the tempo. Well, I'll vary the tempo so he can be slow and even then he can get very fast if he wants. Then uh, rhythm. Well, I thought about, uh, you know, maybe a, a kind of angel lightning rhythm because like Catherine Hepburn, you know, sort of like Catherine Hepburn meeting Ernest Borgnine in an alley for acid indigestion, which led me to the kind of disgusting chortling thing. And so, boom, all right, Pat Fairley, take one. Well, so you didn't find the turtles? This is what I get for surrounding myself with idiots. I remember Slash, and the first thing that came to mind was the picture. Oftentimes, you get a picture of the design of the character they have in mind. And this was a fast Xerox. We were working so fast that they really uh, could barely give us a design. And I noticed he had huge teeth. Well, mouth work, of course, could be dialect, but it can be the way you pronounce an F. Let's say you have an F like this, or this, this kind of F, you've got lateral lips, or tight lips, or loose lips. Well, you see those teeth, and knowing that you have to realize that this came out, this had, had to happen with Sash. And he was also mentioned that he was pretty insane. What? No pizza? You tricked me! Everybody tricked me! He was right on the edge. And so I started going like this, and then all of a sudden I was doing Burt Douglas, Kurt Douglas. So without the teeth, I'm doing Kurt Burt. I don't know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> you know, that kind of angst that he was so good at. Well, you take that, and you combine it with a cheese, and you get slash. <clears throat> Yes, it was the first time in my entire career that I actually got my boys asking me questions about what, I, what Daddy did when he went to work. My boys were all right there in elementary school. They, did, they weren't aware, because I, I was very careful about what they watched on television. In fact, I don't even think we had cable at that time. But they heard from the other kids, and they found out about this. And that was a marvelous uh, era for me particularly because uh, during auctions for the school and to raise money, they'd auction me off to call a Cub Scout group or a birthday party and talk to each kid as Krang. And the great thing about Krang was he's so nasty, they loved it, and I'd go, what's your name? It's Bobby. Who cares? <laughs> and I could get away with that. Get the next kid on. You know, I'm doing Slash now. Get the next kid on. And they just loved it, and I was able to be, you know, auctioned off to call nieces, nephews, call people at birthday parties, and that was a joy. As is often the case with a show that becomes incredibly popular, certainly in, culture, in our culture, the first seasons, uh, we were allowed to ad-lib a great deal, come up with lines, up the lines, and then as it became more popular, they became more, a little more careful about how much ad-libbing we did. And we'd almost sort of, uh, um, we'd almost like submit five ad-libs and get one through and beg for that one. Come on, that's so much better. Come on, man, it's just like, you know. I have to say that, that, that a great amount of the success of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, certainly in the performance, was that they let us go. They gave us reign. Even in the second, third, fourth seasons, they trusted us enough that, to give us a lot of reign, and it was wild and willing in that stuff.